We've been discussing a serious progressive genetic disorder called Hunter syndrome. And joining us now are Carrie Dunn and her seven-year-old son, Jackson Dunn Krause, who has this disorder. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thank, Thank you for, for having oh, us. Thanks for being here. Doctor, before I speak to this lovely young man, let's talk about Hunter syndrome. Now, we, we talked about two forms, mild and severe. Which one does Jackson have? Jackson has a mild or perhaps intermediate form of the disorder where there's little or no involvement of the brain. Many patients with Hunter syndrome have the severe form where the brain is more extensively involved and we see more severe developmental delay or loss of developmental skills. Now Jackson, I hear you're seven. When are you going to be eight years old? Big, uh, big um, boy. Um, on April. What, what day in April? Um. April 28th. Oh, April 28th. Special day. And what grade are you in? Second grade. Second grade. And somebody told me this morning that you love school. What's your favorite subject? Science and recess. Science, Science and, and recess. recess. Perfect. We study for a little <laughs> while and then we go play. I love play. that answer. Definitely. <laughs> Carrie, let's talk about Jackson. Tell me what happened. You, obviously, from what I've been learning here, he was born and mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. seemed healthy at the beginning? Uh, that's a great question. When um, Jackson was first coming to us, we realized that we were having twins. So I was followed by a high-risk pregnancy physician. When he was born, he spent some time right away in the NICU because of a collapsed lung. So he was having some distress, pulmonary issues and he spent some time there and then they handed us our healthy baby and said go enjoy the twins and Sydney was growing a little bit faster and gaining her milestones a little bit earlier. Jackson was showing some signs early on that um, distressed us a little bit in that he had a large distended belly, his skin was extremely taut um, he was crawling what we'd like to call a, command, a commando crawl for quite a while where his sister started walking um, and still you didn't know? We didn't know, but we did seek the advice of uh, numerous physicians and we started therapies early on. Jackson started with um, occupational therapy, developmental therapy, speech therapy, sensory, uh, feeding therapy, a little bit of everything, and this was all before he was three. And when was he finally diagnosed? Right after his third birthday. We had um, gotten a recommendation to see a geneticist, and as we went into the gen geneticist appointment, she discovered a hernia right away. So the red flag was he has a hernia, this large distended belly. He, his face was a little bit larger um, than most boys his age. The geneticist recommended that we see a metabolism specialist right away. And we were able to go into that appointment and the doctor looked at us and said, I know what your son has. He has something called Hunter syndrome, otherwise known as MPS2. And your reaction at that moment? Um, I was happy that I had a diagnosis. I was thinking that. I was devastated to know that um, my son would, would suffer for a while with many different ailments, but it, the road is, is a long road. And doctor, let's talk about that road. Three years to get a diagnosis, three years of a mother knowing, you know, something's not right here. Mm -hmm. She gets the diagnosis. Is Jackson's history typical for patients with Hunter syndrome? Well, unfortunately, it is typical that a patient sees multiple physicians, many doctor visits for a lot of different complaints until they finally get that diagnosis. The specific combination of findings varies quite a bit from child to child, but certainly that diagnostic odyssey of searching for a diagnosis is a very, very common phenomenon. And Carrie, obviously you're here today because we need to create that awareness and educate others about this Hunter syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, support groups, did they help you also once you got that diagnosis? Most definitely. The support of your family and friends is very important. Doctor, uh, what advice would you give to parents out there who may suspect that maybe their child has Hunter syndrome? Well, if there are multiple medical issues like we've been discussing, I would recommend they talk to their pediatrician and seek consultation from a specialist like a geneticist. Early diagnosis is so terribly important to ensure that a child gets the appropriate medical care. Carrie, for anyone out there who may be you know, experiencing this or may mm -hmm. not know, what would you say? I would say please just follow your gut. Go with your instincts. You know as a parent that if something's just not right, search till you find the answer. Thank you so much for your time and for the education you've given us this morning. Carrie, thank you so much for bringing your son and sharing his story. Jackson, thank you so much. Do you get along with your sister? That's good too. Thank you. God bless him. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Bye, Jackson. Thank you.